If you're considering moving to Alaska, doubtlessly one thing you're really contemplating right now is what is going to be the best job for you to have as you're looking at moving up here to Alaska. And you're probably thinking, okay, what jobs are available and what jobs are available in specific areas. My name is Jamin Gurker. I'm a realtor in South Central Alaska, and my mission is to help you to build an intentional and significant legacy for yourself and your family by coaching in real estate. Today, we're going to be talking about the six best jobs you can have in Alaska, and we're going to talk a little bit about what is the most in-demand jobs based on specific areas. Before we get started though, do make sure you give this video a like, do subscribe if you haven't done so already, that helps out a ton with the algorithm. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into today's video talking about what the most popular jobs are. First off, I'm going to say, if you do some kind of a trade job, chances are you're probably never gonna be lacking for work that you could do in Alaska just as a whole. It is a developing state and we have construction, we have a lot of uh, new commercial buildings being put in in various places, we have you know, tourist industry that's going to need some element of that. We have um, existing buildings that are going to need maintenance and repairs done on them. So if you have any kind of a hard trade like that, then you are going to be in really good, in a really good position to take advantage of the market and really land yourself a good position. Also, the best thing I can say too is these are going to be big 30,000 foot view kind of stats here. Ultimately, it's going to come down to what skills you have and how it is you approach each position. So First off, I'm going to say the information we have here is going to be coming from the alaskajobs.gov website. So if you're looking for more information about the area and you're trying to get a good sense of it, that's going to be a great place to start. First off, on our list of the top six most in-demand positions is going to be healthcare support because across the entire state we have 690 positions that are currently being advertised on the um, alaskajobs.gov. So if you have any skills in that area, chances are you're going to be able to find something. It just depends specifically what it is that you're looking for. The next position that is in high demand is going to be transportation and the transportation moving. And this is actually about 880 jobs are currently available across the entire state. There's a pretty good chance that if you're wanting to move into a specific area, there's probably something if you have that skill set available in that area. Exactly what that is, I couldn't say, but that's currently what we see in the numbers. The next most popular position at coming in at about just over 1,100 positions that are available across the entire state is management. And that sounds like a very catch-all generic kind of a term. And that's going to apply to a lot of different positions, probably centered primarily around the Anchorage and the Matsu Valley, where most of the middle management positions would be. But you're going to find positions like that really across the entire state. So if you have any of those management skills, again, chances are pretty good you're going to be able to find something. Let's go and take a break here real quick. If you're considering moving to Alaska and you're just trying to get more information, you might get a lot of value out of taking a look at my relocation guide I give to people who are considering moving up here. That's something you are considering. Do feel free to reach out to me in the link to my website in the description section down below. Go ahead and click on the link. And when you're registering to the website, just put relocation guide into the comment section so I know what to send you. Now, let's go and finish today looking at the top three most popular in-demand jobs across the entire state. And then we'll break it down a little bit and talk about specific areas. Coming in at spot number three in the top three is going to be admin and support coming in at 1,280 positions that are currently being offered. Again, these are kind of some catch-all positions and it kind of gives you a sense of what the demand is right now here in the, the market as a whole. So that is going to be kind of a good generic skill. If you have that, you've got even more options than the, the previous three. Let's take a break real quick. If you've been watching this channel for any amount of time, you do know that I focus primarily on the South Central Alaska area. And while that's going to remain the case moving forward, we are actually going to be partnering with our colleagues across the entire state to bring you market updates for what's going on inside the markets of each one of the big market centers here in the state of Alaska, looking at Fairbanks, Kenai, Homer, Kodiak, and Juno slash the Southeast area. So this is gonna be a very exciting project called the Trailblazer Project. I've not seen this done in any other state before where we are bringing you all the market updates for the entire state under the roof of one channel. So this is gonna be a, a lot of fun. So when you guys are seeing market updates coming from you know, people who aren't just me on the channel, you know what's going on there. 
Um, if you guys are really nice, then we might actually be able to convince some of these folks to actually provide some more content and talk specifically about what it's like living in their market. So when you see these videos pop up, make sure to jump over there, give them plenty of likes, plenty of love, give them lots of comments. And um, yeah, just know that that's uh, fulfilling kind of the mission we still have on the YouTube channel to help you build an intentional and significant legacy for yourself and your family by coaching you in real estate, whether that be in South Central Alaska or anywhere else in Alaska that we have our colleagues in at the moment. So just want to make you aware of that. And let's go and finish today's video. The second most popular in-demand job right now sitting at 1,535 is education and libraries. And I'm willing to hazard a guess education is probably the lion's share of that. Um, I don't think there's a huge demand for library assistance quite like there is for education really across the entire board. And we'll talk about why that is in just a little bit, but I suspect probably most of that is going to be with the schools. And the number one most in-demand position across the entire state right now is going to be healthcare and tech practitioners across the entire state, because there are currently 5,251 positions available across the entire state, more than tripling the number of demand from what we saw with the um, previous positions that are being asked for looking at education and in the libraries. So this is is really anecdotally makes a whole lot of sense. It seems like everyone I've talked to, if they're in the healthcare field, they're always saying that they need more people, they need more people, and they're constantly trying to just keep as many people as they can plugged in there. There's a high proportion of our population is a little bit on the elderly side, so I suspect this is probably going to continue being the case moving forward. And, um, you know, we're certainly seeing it in the healthcare fields up here. Now, looking more into each one of the markets here, if we are looking at Anchorage as a whole, the biggest employer right now with the most jobs that are being posted and requested for is the Anchorage School District. So if you are someone with um, teacher certification, you can be a substitute teacher, stuff like that, chances are pretty good you're going to be able to find some kind of a position. It might not be the, the really cushy dream role that you'd envisioned right off the get-go, but you're certainly going to be able to get your foot in the door. Looking a little further north over in the Matsu Valley, there's a couple things about this market. Number one is there is no really big dominant employer at the very top that just controls really all the, the job openings that are available, like you have with the Anchorage School District over in Anchorage right now. It's just kind of a smattering of a lot of different openings. I'm not sure exactly what the validity of these numbers are, but according to the Alaska Jobs, for every position or for every employee that's looking for work in the Matsu Valley, there is going to be a, nearly five positions that are open. So if you're just trying to find something in the Matsu Valley to get your foot in the door, chances are good you're going to be able to find something there. It's just may or may not be exactly what it is that you're looking for. Looking next at the Kenai Peninsula, we see that the biggest employer in the area of positions that are currently being posted is going to be the Kenai School um, District Borough and about 260 positions I believe in the next coming in after that is going to be the hospital in the Kenai Peninsula as well. For every employee there's about 2.6 jobs right at the moment so plenty of jobs available if you're wanting to jump in and just get your foot in the door. Looking a little further north going up to Fairbanks we see the biggest employers in that area number one is going to be the, the school district you're going to have the hospital there in the area and you're also going to have the Tanana I know I'm I might be mispronounced that, uh, the Tanana Chief Conference. And those are all roughly have about a 140, 150 positions available for every position that they have. Uh, for every employee that's looking right now, there's approximately two positions that are available. So if you're looking for something, good chance you can find it, just not as plentiful as you find in other areas. There we go. I got it out. All right, now looking over in Kodiak, we see the biggest supplier of jobs on Kodiak is going to be the school district over there. And you get a little bit with the Native Association over there as well. For all of the, the candidates, there's approximately 3,300 candidates looking, and there's about 588 job openings currently over on Kodiak. So there's definitely um, a lot of demand over there right at the moment and they do have some demands for stuff with the Coast Guard, not surprising, Anders Group, Alaska, uh, the Providence, 
jobs. Oh yeah, um, just looking at the, the hospital service over there as well. Now let's go ahead and take a look at just a couple more places here. Yep, so in Juneau, by far the most in-demand employer at the moment is going to be the Juneau School District offering 266 positions with the um, uh, Southeast Alaska Regional Health Consortium coming in second at only 98 positions with the Bartlett Regional Hospital at 77. For the approximately 1,650 job openings, there's about 3,600 candidates currently available. So yeah, what we're seeing here is that if you are wanting to work, probably your best option is to do something with the education field when you first get going just to get your foot in the door. That's actually what I ended up doing when I first got up here. You know, I had degrees. I wasn't in a position to teach just yet because I got most of my teaching certification done, but not all of them. So I was able to jump on as a substitute teacher and I was able to kind of get my foot in the door and I was able to kind of work up after that and get you know, position to go do some other stuff that I was wanting to do. So that's really what we're seeing across the entire board for the employment. Uh, best thing I can say is get your foot in the door, get started, study the stats, kind of understand what positions are available, seize your opportunity, and make sure you network like crazy because in these smaller markets, it's way more about who you know than what's actually being posted. Try to get to those jobs before they even hit the internet. But thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Thank you.